What's up you guys, it's your girl Ashley Simone and I am doing a tutorial, a quick tutorial before I go hit the gym on my hair. As you guys know that I've been growing my hair out since May 2009 and I'm always doing some protective styles and right now I have micros around the perimeter and a sew-in in the crown. So I'm going to take my hair down and let you see but this is how it looks. Okay, so I'm going to take it down, the other most, <laughs> so you can guys can get a, a clear shot of what's actually going on inside of the hair. And this hairstyle only took four hours. Two people did it. Um, my little cousin and her best friend did it. And um, they only charged me like 80 bucks, so I gave them 40 bucks a piece. And um, this is how it looks. Like I said, uh, you can see the braids in the front. They didn't braid that much, but they made the bra braids extremely small. The parts extremely small, which made it really full to cover up the sew-in. But this is how it looks. The braids, and then you have the sew-in in the middle. I'm going to try to get a good shot. And it's this way all the way around. The nape area is the same. Okay. And I am going to put it back in a ponytail. You cannot see the sewn at all, which I love. And it won't be a hassle taking it down. You know, everybody that get micro braids, that's like the worst thing ever. You know, you love the braids, you love the style, you love the um, the ability to just get up and go. A braid just came out. No bueno, right? I don't know where it came from, but it's not good. I think it's the front because I can see little speckles of, uh, little traces of my brownish red hair, which I dyed in the front. And I cannot wait for it to grow out. Anyway, this is how I usually wear it, up in a high, high bun. Woo. And I plan on keeping this for a few, a couple, maybe two months. But, like I said, I love the convenience of it. I can get up and go. And since I just started back on my workout regimen, it's very convenient because I don't have to worry about washing my hair every day and twisting it and all that good stuff so this is how I've been wearing it and this is how I will continue wearing it until I take them down I don't manipulate the hair that much not too much style and I don't want too much tension around the temple area where it's the most sensitive and fragile and I just put it up in a bun, a loose bun, like a messy bun. I like that look. And um, I style it like that. Probably push it a little bit to, to the front. And that's the hairstyle. Um, I hope this was very informative and um, what I've been oiling my scalp with is um, Carol's Daughter Mimosa Hair Honey and I've been spraying it with, of course, my coconut and hibiscus hold and shine moisturizer mist and I'm going to do that right now. It feels so good on the scalp. And that's it. Also, I wanted to bring to you guys' attention that I will